Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can render your skybox to give the impression of movement. So, I have a simple scene here with some skyboxes, and I'm going to firstly apply a skybox to this scene so it's not just the default blue. So, if you go to Window and Lighting, now if you're using Unity 5, you just click Lighting, if not, you click Settings. And we just put our skybox right here, so we can click this little button here. And then select from this list which skybox we want. So I'm going to pick sky 10 for now. Close that down, close that down, and we're going to do this using a C sharp script. So right click, create C sharp script, and let's just call this something simple like rotate sky. Always try and keep things as simple as possible in Unity, it really helps in the long run. So open it up in Mono Develop or Visual Studio, whichever one you have, it makes no difference. Script is going to be the exact same. So when it opens up, what we need to do, firstly, just get rid of the void start. We don't need that. And let's get rid of this little note there. We don't need that either. So what we're going to do is we're going to define a variable to have as our speed. So public float, and let's call it rotate speed. And let's make it equal to 1.2 with an F at the end because it's a float and semicolon. So in the void update, what we need to do is we need to do render settings and that's capital R capital S dot skybox and that's all lowercase dot set float with capital S and capital F and in brackets we need to define it so in this case in quotes we put underscore rotation and then comma and then we need to do it in the game time so we just use time dot time seems simple and then we multiply that by the rotate speed so we turn the skybox at the game time multiplied by whatever we have in the rotate speed so rotate speed close bracket semicolon and then save that script next thing you'll need to do is just add that to a game object in your scene you could theoretically add it to the camera if you wanted so we'll do that straight onto the camera and we can see it right there so if we press play now we should be able to see our skybox giving the impression of rotation so let's have a look at our camera looking upwards and we can see our skybox rotating giving the impression of moving clouds so obviously the slower you have this speed 0 0.2 maybe slow it would have so you could use this to dynamically change the speed of your uh, skybox at any given point in the game and obviously it works with any skybox at all so if we quickly change it change it to let's say sky 14 press play we can see the skybox rotating perfectly so if you change this to a minus figure let's say minus one it rotates the other way and that's exactly how you can use it to change the skybox dynamically in game at any given time it's as simple as that so that is how you quickly and easily rotate a skybox in any game in unity guys thanks for watching